Learners, welcome to yet another lesson in SST. I'm your teacher, Emut Julius is my name. Now, before we start our lesson, there are some points I want you to note. One, this is a recorded lesson. Now you are going to follow me explaining, but in case you have not got my explanation well, you can always rewind the recording to get my explanation. If you want to copy the notes, you can always pause the video in order to copy the notes. So it is just a recorded what? video. So as we start, let's first go through the corrections of the activity I left you with in the previous lesson. Hoping that all of you did that activity and we are going to mark it. So look at the answers I'm going to give as you mark yourself. So let's check and see. In our previous work, number one was what is climate? But if you remember very well what I told you that all that activity, the answers were in the notes we had, had given you. So let's try to remind ourselves. Climate, we say, is the average weather conditions of a place recorded for a long period of time. If you have that, mark it. Let me write it here. So we say number one, climate is the average weather condition of a place recorded for a long period of time. If you have that, mark yourself. The number two was how is a windsock important to a pilot? Now, a windsock, much as it is a weather instrument, but in most cases we find it at the airport. Now, it is very important to the pilot that it helps the pilot to identify the strength of wind because this helps him or her either to fly or not fly because wind can be a disaster to the pilot. So we say a windsock. helps the pilot to determine the strength of wind. If you have that, also mark it. Number three was State one where a rainy gate is important to a farmer. Now this time to a farmer, we know what a farmer is interested in. Now, but if the question is just the importance of a wind vane, you say a wind vane helps to measure the amount of rainfall in an area. But here they are asking to a farmer, they have specified to a farmer. So to a farmer needs this rainy gate in order to determine how deep water has entered into the soil. And this will help a farmer either to plant or not to plant. So the answer here is a rain gauge. This is number three. A rain gauge helps the farmer to determine how deep water enter into the soil. So that's very important because the farmer is now able to tell whether it is enough water in the soil to plant his crops for the seeds to germinate or not. So it tells how deep. That's why the other time we say it is measured in millimeters because this helps to determine how deep water is entered into the soil. Then number four was in which unit in which units is rainfall measured? We said rainfall is measured in millimeters. Millimeters. 
So rainfall is measured in millimeters. I'm going to wrap this so that we, those who are marking, I hope you have marked and you have done the correction. So let's use the same side of the chalkboard. So let's look at number five. Why is a wind vane kept? Why is a wind vane not kept in a Stevenson screen? Remember, we said a Stevenson screen is mainly used to keep delicate weather instrument. Now, for this case, a wind vane is not delicate. That's why you cannot keep it in a Stevenson screen. So let's say, that's number five, we shall say, a wind vane is not kept in a Stevenson screen because it is not delicate. It is not delicate. We don't need to keep it because a Stevenson screen is for only delicate with the instruments. Number six, they ask us to compare a wind vane and a wind cork in terms of their function. A wind cork, a wind vane. Now we say a wind vane, a wind vane shows the direction wind is. The direction, direction wind is blowing from, blowing from. Why a wind cork shows? The direction we is we is blowing to. So two important words here: from and to. A wind vane will always point back the direction wind is blowing from. Whereas a wind cock will point the direction wind is blowing to. For instance, if wind is blowing to the east, wind is blowing to the east, then the wind vane will always point west. That is the difference. Whereas a wind, a wind cock will point the direction wind is blowing to. So that's the difference. So we have got from to. That's the difference in their function. So if you have that, mark that. Then number seven. Apart from delicate weather instrument, what else is kept in a Stevenson screen? Remember the other time we say that is a weather record book. So our number seven is weather record book. That is another thing that we can get in a Stevenson screen. Number eight, name the weather condition that helps farmers during Winnowing. So they are talking of a weather condition, not a not a what an element. So a condition here is windy. We are talking of a condition. Remember, a condition is the same as type of weather. So they are talking of the type which is windy weather. That's winnowing. Then number nine, we say what term is used to describe the study of Weather. So our number nine is metrology. That is the study of weather. Remember, people who study weather are called metrologists. So the study is metrology. Then number ten, 
They are asked for which weather element is measured in hours. In hours, that is sunshine. Because they are asking weather element. Sunshine. So how many have got 10 out of 10? Mark yourself. Now after that, now we are moving to today's lesson. So after our correction, let's now move to today's lesson. Still we are looking at the topic climate. But the subtopic under that, we are looking at weather forecast. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to explain, this is just recorded, but when you need more explanation, you just rewind in the video, or you want to copy the notes, you pause it and copy those notes. So, in today's lesson, we are looking at weather forecast. We have seen this on TV. The news anchors always tell us, what is going to happen the next day, what is going to happen one week earlier or one month. And that's done by metrology. So the telling of future, the prediction, predicting what is going to happen is what we call weather forecast. So what, what is weather forecast? So we say weather forecast is the prediction or the telling of future weather changes. So many times uh, towards the end of the news, the news author will tell you that tomorrow in areas around Lake Victoria, in the morning hours, there will be rainfall. Or in the afternoon, there will be a lot of sunshine. That's they are predicting. So the meteorologists are scientists who do that. So telling future weather changes or predicting future weather changes is what we call weather forecast. Now, how is this important to us? So we are saying, how is weather focus important for these farmers? Because the farmers need this to know. One, we say the farmers, it helps farmers to plan for their farming seasons. So for instance, if it is in the month of March, and according to the prediction given, or according to the weather focus given, it is that March will be a rain month. So a farmer is able, is able to start preparing and plant his what? His seeds or her seeds. Also we are saying weather focus helps farmers to know when to prepare their gardens. Okay? Because the garden is always prepared during a dry season. So a farmer is able to know when a dry season comes, then a farmer starts preparing the gardens in order to wait for a rainfall season. At the same time, weather focus helps farmers to know when to harvest their crops. And as I said again, harvesting is done during a dry season. So again, the farmer is able to tell that if this is a rainfall season, when the dry season comes, it will be time for harvesting the crops. Then, uh, four, we said, helps farmers to prepare their farm tools. It is a rainfall season, a farmer knows what he needs during that rainfall season. Either tools for planting, tools for weeding. Then in a dry season, a farmer needs to prepare the tools for harvesting. So weather focus, that's how it is important to farmers. Now let's look at the sailors. How is it important to the sailors? A sailor is able to know the right weather for sailing. You have heard uh, situations where some sailors have got accidents on water. Why? Because they are not able to tell the right weather for sailing. At times, they go into the lake when it is a rainfall season or when there is a lot of wind because they are not listening to the weather focus, they end their boats end up uh, capsizing. So that is dangerous. So it helps them to know. What, which is the right time for sailing. Then the pilots. Of course the pilots has to know. The flight member, air transport is one of those types of transport which is affected by weather changes. For instance, if it is cloudy or there is a lot of rain, it can distract the pilot. So the pilot is able to tell which is the right weather for him or her to fly the plane. So it is also important. So we are going to look at also other people like travelers and teachers. 
So let's look at D to travelers. How is weather forecast important to travelers? We say it helps travelers to know the right dress code. For instance, if the prediction was that it is going to be a rainy season, it's going to rain in the mornings, then it prepares you as a traveler to put on a jacket or a heavy cloth or a waterproof cloth. So that's to, to a traveler. Also at the same time, it helps a traveler to know the means of transport. Surely, if it is going to rain in the morning, I don't think that it will be of advice for you to use the border border when traveling. So this is going to determine the, the means of transport you are going to use. If it is an open and it is going to rain, then you can change to another means of transport. Now let's look to teachers. We say to a teacher, this helps a teacher to plan for the lessons. For instance, if the teacher had an experiment outside the classroom and yet in that, during that time it is going to rain, then it helps the teacher also to change or prepare another lesson which can be conducted inside the classroom. So that is planning the lesson. Now let's look at something else as our number three. Influence of weather to people. So that's what I put here. How does weather influence people during, for instance, during the wet or rain season, during the dry season, or when it is windy? So weather influences our activities. It determines what we are going to do. That's the influence. It changes your activity, just as we have said here. For instance, if they predict that it's going to rain in the morning, and yet your plan was maybe to put on a jacket and yet it's going to be a hot season, you change. So weather determines or it is going to influence. So, for instance, during a wet or rain season, especially the farmers plant their crops. So it is weather determining, influencing you telling you what to do at the right time. So farmers, because you cannot start planting during a dry season, you plant in the rainfall season because the water in the soil helps seeds to germinate. Two, farmers plant their crops. Okay, I mean, the third one, farmers weed their crops. Weeding is the removal of unwanted plants in the garden. There are those plants we don't need. So the weeding is done during the wet season. So immediately after the germination has taken place, you remove the weeds. At the same time, it is the time for spraying. After weeding, spray the crops, especially to kill the pests. Then also, to other ordinary people, during this time, for instance, you are going to work, you are a trader, it is the time to put on warm or waterproof clothing. Now by warm I mean you can put on a heavy clothing, a jacket, because it is cold, or you can put on a rain coat, that's a waterproof cloth, because it is raining. So that's how weather influences our activity. Now let's see during a, a dry season. To a farmer, that's the time to harvest the crops. So it is the harvesting time. It's staying in the farm, it's time to harvest. Because the hot season helps these crops to get ready fast. Then, farmers prepare land for farming. It is time for preparing their land, waiting for a rainfall season. Farmers irrigate their crops. For instance, we have got perennial crops that need water throughout their uh, growing season. Now, in a dry season, it will mean that there is a shortage of water. So this is the time a farmer irrigates. Irrigation is the artificial supply of water to gardens by human means. You want to support, you want to continue supporting these crops to grow, so you apply irrigation farming. And this is the time again, remember we say, in a rainfall season, you put on a warm cloth, but when it is a dry season, you put on light clothes. It is very hot, so you put on a light cloth, which is not heavy, which is not going to bring a lot of heat on you. Now let's look at during a windy time. That is the time farmers winnow their crops. At the same time, in areas that use windmills to generate electricity, this is the time wind will help them in generating uh, uh, the what? Generating electricity from 
we use. So we have an activity here. We shall we shall go to leave you. For this number, we say what we call the prediction of weather, future weather changes. If you have been following from the beginning, you already have the answer. How is weather focused? Important to a pilot. If you have been following, the answers are there. Why should a farmer listen to weather forecasting? You have it, we have already talked about it. I need five one activity done by farmers in a wet season. That's an, uh, another question if you have been following, the answer is already there. Why do farmers harvest their crops in a dry season? That is another activity. So this activity do it at home. In the next lesson we shall, but don't forget to visit uh, all this, visit this, the school website that is on www.kabalajuniacademy.nc.ug I repeat, www.kabalajuniacademy You write kabalajuniacademy as one word .nc.ug Or oh, you can visit the Facebook, still Kampala Junior Academy or you can go to YouTube, that is again Kampala Junior Academy on YouTube. You can get these lessons, you can get at the website, you can get at YouTube, you can get on the Facebook. Thank you for being good listeners. Bye for now and wait for the next lesson.